Well, Maddie, over in the uh, Western Conference here, we have a pivotal Game 5 in a series that has tied it to as the Grizzlies uh, host the T-Wolves. Memphis is a six-point favorite at home. Uh, who do you like to gain an advantage now? This is probably the game that is the hardest to read, at least for me. And I imagine it'll be true for a lot of people because the inconsistency with both of these teams where the Wolves all season, it's just like they get a 20 point lead and then they lose and they get a 20 point deficit and they win and their games are just super high variance. The Grizzlies are like that to a lesser extent, but there's just been so many twists and turns to this series that trying to figure out what's going to happen in any given quarter, much less any given game just seems so difficult. Um, I do think Memphis is able to win at home, but I have zero confidence in being able to predict the spread here. Maybe Ryan has a better idea, but at least home court advantage, I think, gives Memphis the edge. I think they ultimately are the better team. I just think six is probably a pretty fair number. All right, Ryan, how hard of a read is this series for you? Yeah, Matt, I don't, man. This is tough. And you nailed it. It's inconsistency from both teams. I think that's a product of both teams being pretty young, relatively young for a playoff team. Um, I liked, I, I was worried about the Grizzlies minus six line at first, but then I take a look back at what's happened so far. Minnesota won by one last game. And it, the series has felt close, kind of sloppy and erratic, but close. And it is 2-2, but then the, the game before that, Memphis wins by nine, which covered. The game before that, Memphis 28 point blowout, that covered, and then some. And then game one, 13 point Minnesota win. So despite how close it feels, these games haven't been that close points wise. So then I felt a little better about the minus six line because something happens along the game where, I mean, Minnesota blew two or two 20 point leads. I think it was a couple of games back, just so erratic and so inconsistent. So I kind of feel confident somehow that magically the Grizzlies will cover by more than six. 